Over the last decade, my work has experimented with co-creation and collaborative practice, mixing storytelling, play, design, emergent technology, and the arts in an effort to build immersive worlds that are shaped by those who engage within them. In other words, those formerly known as the audience become collaborators and storytellers within the piece. Sherlock Holmes and the Internet of Things used Arthur Conan Doyle's literature as a jumping off point to create a global storytelling initiative that had over 2,600 people from 60 countries working to create a connected crime scene. Together, they staged more than 180 events around the world. For instance, a team in Brazil built an augmented reality app that harnessed deductive reasoning and storytelling to track food waste, while another team from Italy designed and ran a large street game as a tool for community discourse. One of the reasons Sherlock Holmes and the Internet of Things spread globally is directly tied to the interest and passion for Doyle's fiction, but another is deeply rooted in the fact that Sherlock Holmes resides in the public domain. This was by design, as large collaborative projects often become mired in intellectual property issues. By removing this burden, participants were able to freely explore and co-create a vibrant world of interconnected projects. In 2018, we staged Frankenstein AI at the Sundance Film Festival. The project imagines a world where the creature finds itself wandering the internet in search of connection. But when Frankenstein AI encounters polarization and toxicity at every turn, it becomes confused. The creature decides to gather humans in the real world in an effort to learn what it means to be one. Frankenstein AI was produced in collaboration with the Columbia University School of the Arts Digital Storytelling Lab. The ambitious project utilized AI and machine learning to craft a three-act performance. The AI collected data from the audience during the festival run, and at the close of Sundance, that data was used to stage a machine learning choreographed dance piece. During the performance, an AI controlled a human dancer, signaling commands to the performer through an earpiece. In order to build the corpus for the AI, we ended up creating what we called Fakenstein, an AI chatbot that we coded to write in Shelley prose. I've often found that my work is difficult to classify, and as a result, I tend to have to describe it by stating all the things that it is not. For example, it's not a film, but it has cinematic elements. It's not a game that someone can win, but it is playful. For years, I've worked to find alternative methods to fund, produce, and distribute the projects that I make. They often fall outside of normal or traditional channels of funding, However, they are in line with cultural shifts and technological advancements. I hope that the Arts and Technology Field Scan, conducted by the Arts Endowment, helps audiences to better understand and support creative investigations and emergent forms enabled by new technology.